All right, so baking. You can actually bake objects in a reel. And this is an awesome feature, actually. So to do this, I'm going to need my high polygon object. And I'm going to need my low polygon object. And baking, if you're not familiar with this, is an operation you do to transfer the high polygon resolution model information into a texture that you will apply into the low polygon one so you can fake the resolution by using 2D maps. Usually a normal map, an ambient occlusion map, and a base color map where you can bake all the information so you can use the low polygon mesh and still have the high quality resolution texture. So how do we do this? First, you will look for our mega scans and I believe is this one. Let's just look for a high polygon mesh. Should be this one. Okay. So this mesh has a lot of polygons. And you cannot see it because it's nanite, but if I go here and I uncheck this and apply changes, you will see that I have a lot of polygons. And this is very heavy. So what I will do is to duplicate this one and create a low poly version. Okay. And let's just assume you don't you know have the scan. So let's just see how uh, how you will do the low poly inside Unreal using the methods I have just shown you. So notice that because my mesh is so high, so many polygons, it will take a while to duplicate the mesh. So this is my new mesh, Enter exactly the same. So what I will do is to voxelize. I will do the box wrap. And it will take some time. And there you go. Now I have my low polygon mesh. I With the box wrap, I make sure everything is connected and I don't have any open hole. So let's just click accept. And now this is my new version. So I don't need this anymore. So what I will do is to first, let's make sure our holes, we don't have any holes. And you can see that when we press the hole fill, it says this mesh has no holes to fill. So that's good. That's good. We don't want any holes. The next thing we need to do is to optimize this version to use less polygons. So we will simplify this. And this do a very bad job. So let's just remesh it first. Click accept. And then we will simplify it by maybe 25%. Seems to be enough, or we can actually put the triangle cone. Let's just put, let's just put 2,000. Seems like a reasonable number. Okay. So now that we have this, we have our low polygon here. Now we will put the normals and increase the normal size. This is not necessary actually, but just in case you want. And now we need a texture. So what we will do is to do the auto UV and you will see I have my checkerboard and some of these are distorted. So I will click accept and then I will click unwrap. And then I will go to conformal. Uh, X map seems to be working better with cubes or, or more, you know, uh, non-uniform surfaces. So uniform surfaces, I mean. So conformal sometimes does the job. So we have some issues here. 
like this part is a little bit stretching. Uh, you want all your squares to be as less stretch as possible. So what we will do is to actually create some seams here. We'll go to seam edit and we will go here to draw the mesh here and we will close this one. Just to have something like this. Um, you can actually create a seam for the face. Currently, there is no option to delete seams. This will be coming in the future, as far as I know. So we can only add. OK. Let's just add some seams here. OK. And another one here. So basically, the more seams we have, uh, the less stretch we will have. Here we will have a fair amount of stretching. So let's keep it like that just to have a look. Oops. Crash. OK, it happened. And I didn't save, so we need to open our level again. Actually, we can just use this one. We can go to our mega scans, 3D assets, static mesh, and we will look for our mesh here. OK. And we will duplicate this, go to our modeling tools, and do the same. Just duplicate, delete sources, Almost there. Yeah. OK, so now that I have this, let's go to our box wrap. Now, this one already has UV, so you don't really need to voxelize. But I'm just doing this for the sake of showing how you can UV your mesh. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. Just decimate this, and that's it. You don't need to bake anything, because you already have the textures. But if you're bring in data, like scan data directly into Unreal, then this, had, this is a good way. So accept. This is our new mesh. Let's go to remesh again. Accept. Now we will simplify this mesh. Let's just put like 20% or maybe just put a triangle count 2,000. Now we have our low poly. We can auto UV. Click OK. Unwrap. And click OK. And now we have our UVs. And another thing that we need to do is like if we go to layout, we can actually see the layout here. Make sure your UVs are in zero to one space. OK. So. If we go to transform, you will see that by default, my UVs are outside the bounds of 0 to 1. If you want to bake, make sure you have the repack. You can change the resolution for 2048 to check the padding. And of course, you want your UVs to be in 1. So click accept. And now that we have our low poly, there is one thing we need to do is looks like we have some shading issues here. Uh, we will apply the tangents, click accept, and now we will bake. So we will click this one. First, click the low resolution model, click the high resolution model, and you will see that you have the option here under attributes. You can bake texture maps. So if I click bake, you will see that I will have my bake texture. Um, by default, is 256 by 256. You can have 
the option to change this. Let's say I want 1K texture. And now this is much more higher resolution. And I have baked a normal map. You can see my normal map here, nice and crisp, with some padding here we are using. So by default, I'm using a visualizer to check how my normal map will look like. So if I want, I can bake the ambient occlusion. And this will take a little bit more time because ambient occlusion just takes more time. And this is my AO map. Or you can texture to the image. And by this, you need the texture of this one. So we will need to find this texture here, actually. So let's go to this one and change the textures here. Just click on this one. And source texture will be this one. And for some reason, it looks darker. I don't know why. But uh, it just happens to me when I bake, the base texture looks darker. Uh, probably will be updated in the future. Uh, for our case, we just want the normal map. So if we click Accept, now if we want to find our normal map, we need to check our mesh here. And you will have the generated normal map here. If I click Save All, I will save all my packages. And of course, I don't need this one. And I can create a material for this. So let's create a new material. Apply it. And when I go here, I can drag the normal map. And I can change the base color. Let's just put something like this. And now you have your low resolution version with only the normal map applied. And you can see, I will uncheck my nanite. You see, the difference here in how much resolution you have here and how much resolution you have here. Of course, Nanite solved these issues, but in case you're doing a mobile game or something like that and you still need to go to the traditional route, you can bake some things here. There was a question about baking the mesh in, inside Blender or ZBrush that it may be better. Uh, or what is your opinion on that? Uh, I also think it, it's better. And definitely, uh, I think that the tool is very promising. The way that you can be able to actually bake inside Unreal. The good thing about this is that you can actually check how it looks inside the engine. Normally, you will need to bake in Marmoset or ZBrush or Blender or any other 3D application, and then you will re-import your mesh and check how it looks like. By that time, uh, we're showing this, the baking tools are not there yet, I believe. Uh, there is a lot of work need to be done. So I will still, if you want the highest, like the best, resolution possible, uh, best quality, for sure, go for other 3D modeling package. Uh, however, I'm very positive about this, that if they will update in the future, and it will just be a blast. I I'm sure of it. This is just the beginning. Uh, for now, stick to another 3D modeling packages to get the best resolution and the highest quality. But this is just to show what you can do with the tools. Awesome.